Babe's treasure chest, babe's treasure chest. Come shop at babe's treasure chest. What's up guys? We are back with another video and we're gonna talk about how Corona, Rona girl, has ruined a lot of our business plans. But first we have a quote. Today's quote, part of the journey is the end. Thank you for that quote. <laughs> but again, we're going to talk about how the pandemic, worldwide pandemic, has affected our business. The first thing is how we had to cancel our candle making space. So I literally put some money down, a deposit down on the space that we will use for our candle making classes. And like a few days later or a week later, Corona happened. So we had to cancel that. That ruined our entire candle making class uh, timeline because we was literally going to do it in June and now that's been canceled. So the second thing, uh, people are scared to go after Corona ends, people will be scared to go to events. Right. So we're not sure when we'll be able to pick up because part of our thing, we're going to have to advertise and get our name out there to begin with. And the people are more skeptical of doing things like that. It's just going to further delay our plans. And we were going to start going to flea markets, but obviously flea markets have been dead. So this is throwing a big wrench into our plans as far as actually having classes and be being vendors at various locations because concerts, all manner of events have been canceled all out to the fall for the foreseeable future. So we really just have to ride it out and remain just solely online right now, which is not what we were hoping to do. Yeah, we, we were really hoping for the in-person experiences and that's been canceled and we have no idea when it's gonna open back up. So also the shipping rates from our wholesale, um, uh, yeah, our wholesalers, they, the shipping rates went up like crazy and the speed slowed down a lot because of course a lot of people can't work uh, with the post office or whatever the shipping people are in China. <laughs> but the, the shipping rates went up because it's more difficult to ship things and also the speed, like we've been delayed like months at a time. So we're getting our products a lot slower than we could have been getting if Corona was not here. And also uh, people are be being very careful with what they're buying. Yes, even with people getting a stimulus check, um, unfortunately, we know a lot of people were laid off or lost their jobs during this time. So money's been tight for everybody. So their um, extra spending has, has been tight for a lot of people and focusing on necessities and things like that. So since people lost that extra cash flow, they also lost the ability to buy frivolous things like what we're selling. And some of the things we're trying to shift into more, um, necessary items like masks and things like that but the the shift in the economy has been uh has affected us because people just aren't they don't have that um extra cash flow to be wasting money like that so yeah our earrings and our little accessories are not essential so people are going to spend money on the more essential things also um last thing we are really missing out on the our money making season which is like graduation season. A lot of people bought earrings for graduation. A lot of people bought earrings for weddings, uh, for Mother's Day. All all of the celebrations that would be happening at this time is kind of canceled. And so our business has, is definitely seeing a decrease in sales for these seasons. So yeah, that's definitely messed us up. Now I will say April was our highest money making month that we had i'm guessing because the stimulus check came out i don't know i don't know but it went so. back down it definitely went back down so april was good but overall corona has really ruined our in-person experiences uh, our plans to do classes our plans to sell in person and also just the seasons that we sell are pretty much ruined so yeah that is it anything else yeah but all in all even though this corona thing happened it's thrown everybody for a loop nobody could have predicted this 
And if you are trying to start something or running a business, don't let this stop you because there's always going to be something. If it wasn't this, it'd have been something else. So don't become too discouraged. You just kind of have to take things as they come, do the best you can to prepare, but don't let this discourage you from business or anything else. Just because it gets hard, that's not an excuse to just give up. All right, you all, that's it. This is a really quick one. Stay tuned, not gonna be bloopers for this one, but stay tuned for the cat videos. Bye, say bye. In a world where cats do nothing but <coughs> off their owners and lay around in their lazy <coughs> or got a <coughs> drinking up water, sleeping on everything that's around them. We find the story of two such creatures, Riley and Leo. Stay tuned. So why you telling me, huh? Why you tell? I told you not to tell on me. You told on me. Man, I wasn't telling, man. I was just, no, no, I don't want to hear it. You told on me, and now I told you I was going to have to see about you. See, you didn't have to tell, but you wouldn't open up your mouth. No, man, I'm trying to just listen, man. No, I'm not listening about anything. Man, come on, man, come on. Feel these kicks, man. Feel these kicks of fury. Now, you know what? You know what? You know what? All right. I felt the kicks of fury. Let's, let's see what's going on there. No, man, no, you don't feel all right. Oh, so, so, so you're trying to turn the tables on me. All right, I see, I see how this is going to go. But guess what? Guess what? You didn't factor in that I still know what you did. No, man, you said you would never tell.